guys, new car. Well, revised car. It's the R8 V10 Plus with the performance part pack on it. Upgraded brakes, new brake lines, fluids, and new wheels. And importantly, big changes, downforce pack. And I'm here with pro racing driver Pierre yes. Koffer, who, I mean, yesterday we were on track chasing each other back to back. Oh, it sounds amazing. I have had the the fortunate opportunity yesterday of spending all day in the V10 Plus, which as we know by all standards is a fantastic car, but I'm not just saying this, I, st I did a, a few laps in this car last night, jumped in back to back immediately from the V10 Plus in to this car, wow, and the number one word that I would say for this is planted. I cannot get over the difference that the subtle changes this kit has made, it's absolutely mad. Now, the standard V10 Plus on the road is absolutely fantastic, doing no disservice to it at all. On track, you can tell that it is more of a road bias car. This thing though, on track it comes alive. We were chatting, weren't we, that even in a straight line under heavy braking in the V10 Plus, it becomes a little bit light on the, on the rear. Yeah, for me this is one of the biggest changes is the aerodynamic and is the brakes. Yeah? The brakes, this car is blended, it's just going straight and usually with a mid-size engine you have a bit of a dancing of the rear and this car is just stable and yes. I love it. I have to say I have I so much fun yeah, this car. I it's know. amazing. <laughs> it really is. Like, and I'm not just saying this because we are here obviously today with Audi. You know I would tell you guys if it was you know alright. The changes are tangible. It's it's so good. I, I think that's, this is very important. I mean normally you're talking is it a change, is it not a change? But for me yeah. it's a big change. Big change. It's a very big change. And this is a proper trick day car. It really is. I am, I am shocked actually, you know. I think let's not pretend when we saw this kit launched, I think a lot of people thought, oh, it's just a, a body kit to make the car look nice. It, it's actually doing the job here. So, we're warming up, so let's get some uh, pace on the go and see what that engine noise, what it's all about. Rev it up until I think we're going to run out of track before that happens. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. I trust in you. Yeah, and the new three-way three coilway? Yes, the three-way adjustable coilovers. Coilovers. That's the one, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. one. <laughs> but this is, this is another notification change because you can adjust it for your driving style. Yes. And um, this was now here, right out of the box, the car. And for Amazing. me, the handling is very neutral here in Barcelona, which which you need some mechanical grip, which you need some aerodynamic, and of yes. course the braking. This is very the braking important. is very impressive. So new pads, and importantly, lines and fluid as well. After after quite a heavy session on track yesterday. The V10 Plus, while it was doing a very good job of holding its own, did get a little bit spongy, right? Yeah, it is, but it is also a good track day car, but yeah. it's not comparable this, to this one. I am, right? honestly, I'm actually shocked. It's like a different car. That's amazing. from yesterday is like I'm in a different car. Wow, fantastic man. So when we are on the straight now, have a look on the RPMs and when everything gets red then you shift. Alright. Let's go, okay, let's let's do it. Push it, push it. Bam. There we go. Everything needs to be red. No. Ah oh, nice! Oh it's got a nice kick as well when we do it. Yeah. <laughs> and now they want us to come in. 
you. We're having too much fun. <laughs> yeah, we're having too much fun. We want to stay out. <laughs> Wow! I understand that, however, <laughs> we need to get some filming done as well. Okay, copy. <laughs> right, just stepped out of the R8 fitted with the full performance part kit. Rather than me trying to explain my interpretation of it, we've got pro Audi Sport racing driver Nico Mueller here. How you doing? Very good. Pleasure thanks. to meet you. My um, pleasure. This is your baby, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, there's not my name of it. Sure, on the it, same but, uh, car, the exactly. R8 LMS. Now, when I, I'm looking at the V10 with the performance parts on it, yeah. and this car, there's immediately things that stand out. Yeah. Let's start with the wheels because they look almost identical right yeah i think they are pretty much i mean obviously the design uh, uh -huh. is is the same and it, it really comes from the yeah from the racing scene let's say and as we know the moving mass is what makes a, a very big difference and yeah the lighter they are the better it is and uh yeah we we've proved them in 24 hour races they yeah. they hold on they are <laughs> exactly they, this is they it, do right? their job now and, and they look cool the, the car is sucked to the ground and mm -hmm. in in the race car itself you obviously have a big diffuser on on the back and uh, the big rear wing is exactly what what you also see now on the performance part equipped R8 and uh, no, it's it's a very effective. The car generates a lot of downforce, but at the same time doesn't have a lot of drag, so it still goes fast on the straight. Yeah, which, which obviously is free lap time when we are yeah, going racing. Of course, yeah, yeah. And you like to go quick on the German autobahn as well. So <laughs> it's true. <laughs> you enjoy having a wing. It Absolutely. looks cool. It gives you a bit of a more stable rear, but still yes. the car is fast on the on a straight line. And so I was told earlier that the wheels overall are saving around about eight kgs. Yeah. I think what's important to mention there is that it's all about the rotating mass. Because exactly. eight kgs doesn't sound much, right? No, no, but at doesn't. speed, it expands. Exactly. And I think the the sort of loose formula for it is you, you multiply it by seven, I think. Roughly. And that's the rough formula of how much weight the, the wheels end up being at speed so you know, 8 kgs was that 56 yeah roughly. so I mean, so yeah so unsprung mass saving of 56 kgs is pretty awesome yeah you know? i mean yeah. It, it makes a difference so you can you can definitely feel it and uh the car is just handling very very nicely i mean if you just look at it from the let's say design point of view that the front flicks that we have on this car of course they look pretty yeah. much identical to what you can yeah. now have on your, on your r8 road car so equipped cool, with performance there? parts, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's and the, the front splitter as well, obviously on this it's a bit more exaggerated, but on the performance part pack, it's, it's still there, like a big shelf. Yep. Um, driving them back to back, I honestly thought, and this is no disservice to Audi, but I did think it was more of a styling hack. When I drove it, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. right? It actually is it's like a different car, it's crazy. I think most people always believe that uh, yeah. upgrades, tuning is just because of the uh -huh. of the looking good and looking cool. But I think uh, yeah, they've they've done a good job. It it yeah. does look good, but also works. And um, yeah. So tell me, while was stood in front of this car, and I believe this is the actual winning car, right? So yeah, it won the Spa 24 Hours this year. So cool. What's it like? What's it like to drive something like this, man? A, a lot of adrenaline. Yeah. I mean, uh, you have a lot of power, obviously, but what makes that car special is the aerodynamics. It is very very fast through high speed corners it breaks extremely well i mean we approach for example turn one here in barcelona with about 265 270 kph the corner is done with about 100 and 110 kph and you break about 80 75 meters before the corner to reduce the speed okay. so it really does <laughs> kill so speed to in put the that into perspective uh in the in the r8 road car you're breaking about 200 <laughs> so, yeah. which is mad well there you have it from the race driver's mouth thanks very much buddy. thank you pleasure to meet you yeah that's it um comments below i want to hear your thoughts on it uh i would i'm probably as surprised as you are that that body kit actually provides so much more stability i was genuinely shocked big things which you guys can't see brake improvements huge uh upgraded pads lines and fluid um, yeah, it just made for an all, all around like really good. Tr it's actually a more slightly tr track biased car now, which is uh, very, very cool. So, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!